Well, thank you very much for your, your time this morning to share tonight on the plight of introductory public speaking students. <laughs> there are lots of books that tell them how to do things, but there aren't any books or resources I'm aware of that reflect on the experiences of primary public speakers themselves. So I'm interested in your advice, your guidance for them. Mm -hmm. First of all, can you tell me a little bit about your journey as a public speaker? The first public speech you ever mm -hmm. um, th there's a there's a uh, group called the band, and it has a wonderful song called Stage Fright, and it says, "See the man with the stage fright, standing up, and he's been pushed into the spotlight." And um, um, uh, I have always, I, I make a lot of speeches, and I am nervous before every speech. Really? I am 70 years old. I've been speaking since, and I'll get back to your first question when it was my first speech, but uh, I, I never get over being nervous. Uh, this weekend, um, I had an address before 450 people at the LeMay uh, Car Museum. I'm a trustee at the University of Puget Sound. And I was nervous. Um, uh, on that, this, that was on Saturday, Saturday. Friday, I had another presentation, 200 people. I was nervous. Um, I'm always nervous. My first, I, I grew up in, in, in Chicago, and um, w we um, uh, had an oral tradition in um, uh, my neighborhood in Chicago. I'm 70 years old and so this goes back to uh, the, 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 the early 50s when I was 10 um, that you uh, had to speak up. Uh, you could be very shy but you had to talk and so being forced to speak and being uncomfortable with speaking um, I've traveled that route for 60 years and I embrace it. I don't try to get over it, I try to understand it, I try to embrace it, I try to say how can this be instructive, how can my nervousness, how can my sweaty, pom sweaty palms of my sweaty hands <laughs> instruct me in what I'm getting ready to do. So um, uh, we had to um, um, uh, make presentations in our small groups growing up in, the, in, 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 in my neighborhood around uh, uh, sports and, and playing games and you had to stand up and talk and those were the first um, memories that I have of being pushed into the center of the, of, of, of the room. Didn't happen in school, um, you'd call on, you'd be called on from time to time just to say a word or two, but to actually organize a, a, um, uh, a concept and uh, have a beginning, a middle and an end. Uh, occurred uh, in my neighborhood um, uh, growing up as a kid and, um, uh, and I, I used basically the same uh, principles even, I did, even though I did not know those were the <laughs> principles at the time um, uh, s uh, for the last 60 years it's all, all been the same for me um, uh, and, 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 and speeches come in different, different, different categories I, I once uh, made a presentation at a press conference. I've been on three different governor's cabinets. And uh, Governor Gary Locke was having a press conference. And it was a very difficult issue. And um, the press secretary had talking points for myself as the secretary of the Department of Social and Health Services. And at that time, it was the state's largest agency. And it was a very controversial issue, and uh, we had our talking points. And uh, I spoke, and then the governor spoke, and I spoke, and then the governor spoke, and then we took questions from the from the um, um, reporters. And um, the governor and I were not on the same page. And so, when you talk about what is some of the most difficult <laughs> issues for me, it was to um, uh, in a speech to be authentic, to say what I thought uh, uh, and, 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 and not modify that um, 
and it was really clear that he and I had a different perspective. But it was it was the ability to uh, make a conscious decision to um, stay the course and then speak to that. And those words were very, very difficult to, but once you start to roll, you know, um, uh, the phys law of physics, uh, bodies in motion, the stay in motion. <laughs> once you start rolling, you kept, you, you kept rolling. Um, uh, one of the best um, uh, pr presentations, I, I, I just did a, um, a, a TED talk uh, for uh, Tacoma TEDx. And it's um, and probably the best way to get to the talk is is uh, on YouTube. There's only one Lyle Quasim so far on YouTube, and um, uh, it was one of my better presentations. But when when I feel good about um, uh, uh, a presentation, it almost always has three elements to it. One, um, uh, I understand the facts, and um, uh, people. Uh, can uh, uh, I can present it in a way that the audience will understand what the what 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 the basic facts are? The other one is I try I always try to tell the truth. And there's a difference between truth and facts, <laughs> and, and and it's the contextual reference of how you present those facts that 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 create the the truth, and it gives people the ability to believe, um, if they so choose, what I am saying. And then I try to tell it in the form of a story that um, uh, we live in a narrative, we, well, we have lived in a narrative environment. Um, and those, those, those narratives um, are the stuff that um, uh, we attach ourselves to. And so the best presentations I've had uh, follows this label. And Steve Sable, I don't know if you know who he is. He, He's a videographer, um, made the, the National Football League famous. Uh, the NFL is worth billions and billions of dollars today, and most of it's due to him because of the way he packaged uh, that sport. And he said, uh, give me the facts so I can understand it, tell me the truth so I can believe it, and then spin it in a story so I will remember it. Mm -hmm. And so the best speeches I have given uh, usually follow uh, uh, that that uh, uh, structure, mm -hmm. uh, and, and 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 what and what I do is I take bits and pieces from 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 uh, from, from from different people. Um, uh, I I love uh, the sincerity of Maya Angelou. Um, um, and I'm strong because I'm trying to remember this, um, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, this guy. It, it will come to me. Um, um, so Maya Angelou is 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 one of the is one of the speakers I I, I, I really admire. Um, and I would uh, ask students to think about how she talks. And um, um, uh, I'm not big with on the um, the what's called um, speechifying, you know, the 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 the, um, the rousing, you know. I, I like people who who make speeches in in pretty much close to the voice that they use <laughs> when they talk mm -hmm. to you, as oh, opposed okay. to yeah. But but in in it it, it um, uh, and and I understand. The, the difference between a conversational approach, it, but 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 it's the it's 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 the it's the voice range. Um, uh, I um, um, a sporting event somehow the sports announcer needs to have this rush in his voice, and we're going to uh, you know, and sometimes speakers need to say, "I want to do," the, and oh my God, back off! I want I want to hear the message. I want to appreciate the narrative. I want to be able to um, 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 uh, relate to uh, the content, and and those things are distractions for for me. Um, and um, um, so the speaking style that I like uh, uh, the, the the best is a um, 
uh, a people speaking in a voice range that is fairly narrow and uh, a cadence that is um, uh, consistent uh, and um, uh, an organized style, either inductive or deductive, but some reasoning approach mm -hmm. to the the narrative, so you can follow. Um, um, uh, so the, the 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 structure of the speech is as important as the content of the speech. Um, so there's the message and the messenger, and you know they have to to, to line up, and in a good a good speaking. Um, uh, event a good speaking presentation um, uh, has the message and the messenger uh, pretty much in line. Speak of Noam Chomsky. I I I, I like Noam Chomsky. I, I one of my favorite uh, pastimes is listening to uh, David Barthamian, and um, so I I must have because um, I subscribe to his service. I must have a thousand um, um, uh, presentations. And I listen to people talk all the time. Up in my car, I have a home in British Columbia, and it takes uh, four hours, five hours to get there um, uh, from my home in Puyallup. And um, my wife and I, we listen, you know, to um, hours and hours of a presentation. So I get a chance to listen to one style versus another style. Von Donacheva, uh, I mean, I listen to her, and I am thrilled with her voice. Sometimes I just don't pay any attention to what she's saying. I just want to listen to her talk to me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and she has this really um, solid, compassionate, uh, uh, Eleanor Schmiel, uh, formerly of, um, uh, of, of now uh, national director, had this voice that, that was very narrow in its scope, but it was passionate. It was, I mean, she... Uh, could tell you a story that you could believe well, that was fact-based that you could take with you. I mean, so, um, um, but I'm not uh, much into the Mario Cuomo, um, Jesse Jackson. Um, I, I think our our president Barack Obama is 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 may have the absolute magic uh, in in speaking because he doesn't get. Um, over the top, his message is always clearly orchestrated, and it's 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 content rich, and it's delivered in a way that you can um, uh, understand the content, agree with it, or disagree with it. Uh, but 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 the the, the delivery is, is just is just very 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 um, uh, exciting. Well, here, here's 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 what I I I have done, and I do um, because as I started out, I'm frightened with every speech, and so I I could not imagine not having a firm game plan. Um, and um, uh, for example, um, last week I I did a presentation at a at a breakfast for a, a local nonprofit. And um, um, about two nights before that breakfast, I produced an outline. And then I sat and I thought about it. And I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it. And then I produced another outline. So uh, I'm a, I have about a two-hour investment into this process. And um, then... Um, I went to make the speech and I left the outlines at home. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I want to do is to be in the moment. Mm -hmm. And everything I need to know is somewhere a place in my head. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, uh, and so things occur. Um, and I want to be relevant to what has occurred, what the night looks like, what the previous people have said, what the program looks like. And it, so the, the body, the, the content of the presentation I made a significant investment in, and I have uh, 10 or 12 minutes, and 80% um, 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 uh, of that is the content that I have rehearsed, mm -hmm. and 20% of it is in the moment at, mm -hmm. at, at, at that time. Mm -hmm. 
and um, um, and and that's how that's how I uh, approach it. Um, at the um, uh, event uh, this this Saturday, um, uh, the University of Puget Sound has this wonderful um, communications uh, department. I mean, they gave me every note. I let them read. <laughs> and I said, well, that's interesting. Now I know what they want, and I want to deliver what they want. Mm -hmm. But I'll figure out how I'm how I'm going to deliver it. And I read it, and then I d constructed my own approach to this. Mm -hmm. And 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 um, 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 I I then made my presentation. So yeah, I, I practice, I rehearse mm -hmm. uh, all the time, mm -hmm. all the time, and. Um, um, my wife um, will will be in the car, and she says, um, "Would you be quiet? I don't I don't realize that I'm talking. Mm -hmm. I'm I'll be in the car, and I'll start, and and and, and, I, and I'm thinking about stuff, and I'll start to vocalize, mm -hmm. and not not realize that I'm whispering mm -hmm. what I'm because I'm always practicing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I was I was watching a movie, a James Bond movie, and the movie the last one was called Skyfall." And um, uh, he said, a storm is coming. And I thought about that. And, 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 and I had this presentation to make, which was very, and, 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 and all through that presentation, I thought about what it feels like with an impending storm. Mm -hmm. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. And, 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 and that was the, 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 the foundation ab about speech. Mm -hmm. So I'm always listening. You, you, when, you, when you do this a lot, uh, you look for cues in the environment mm -hmm. that resonate with you mm -hmm. and as, as, as a, a, a person in the audience. And, and, I, and I think um, um, the, the, the biggest mistake that I used to make, and I try not to make this, is to know that I am not the audience. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. the presenter, and mm -hmm. I need to um, connect to the audience. It's not about me. Right. It's about the message mm -hmm. and how I can deliver the message to the audience. Mm -hmm. Because if it's just about me, I can just talk to myself in my car, <laughs> 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 you know, or or talk to my cat, you know. Um, uh, he listens to me uh, regardless. Um, uh, so you know, I, I I believe you owe the audience um, a presentation uh, that they can uh, appreciate. Not that they have to agree with it. Not that they have to, mm -hmm. but 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 they can appreciate. It. Now that's a serious statement. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. And 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 we are um, 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 at some point a representation of, of of what we've done and what's been done to us and our experiences and um, it, 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 it gives you um, uh, some element of, of authenticity and um, you know I mean I'm not um, a, a microbiologist so I'm not talking about microbiology I'm, I'm a social scientist I, I talk about uh, human issues and um, environmental issues and uh, social psychology and all of those things are part of my experience and the politics are a part of my experience. Mm -hmm. And I love poetry mm -hmm. and I listen to poetry all the time and the, the, they are so often um, in the presentations that I make of uh, uh, elements of, of, of um, poetic verse that I've, that I've seen um, and heard. And I also visualize what I've said that I've seen. But it, it, um, it's when you say your whole life experience. So my experiences are political. My experiences are poetic. My experiences are, are humanistic. My experiences... And, and, and I try to bring all of those things. Um, um, uh, my, um, the, uh, my, my TED talk was the intersection between uh, danger and desire. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and it was about community organizing and uh, the desire to do 
uh, uh, the desire to add value to your community and the danger, the personal danger that I might present to you. And so, uh, but the danger and desire comes from my poetic background. The, 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 the community organizing comes from my political background. So you bring the whole self, you bring all your experiences to, 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 the, to, the, to the format. I um, 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 uh, there are people who think that I have a, a, a very inflated notion of how funny I think I am. <laughs> My wife says, you're not nearly as funny as you think you are. <laughs> but I am always uh, 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 joking. And I, I um, um, uh, you know, you know one one of one of the things that <laughs> that I, that I have uh, experienced and learned um, is one's facial expression uh, uh, can be extremely powerful in the communication process. And, and I knew a person who appeared to always have a smile on his face, and so no matter what he was telling you, he looked like he was smiling. And, and and I said, well, that wasn't very good, but you know, it didn't, it didn't, didn't feel as, as difficult. So I'm always uh, ad attempting to 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 to, to be upbeat. Um, uh, one of the people, um, uh, the person who does that very well is John Stewart. Um, uh, uh, he talks about very serious issues, but he he smiles and he says, you know, now you know there are people dying. There's this and that. And look, let's look at this. But you know, I'm 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 not dour. Um, it's not uh, uh, owing it awful, and it's getting worse. Uh, it is um, 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 serious business um, almost all the time. But um, there's, I, I'm not a particularly religious person, but, but there's an old scripture that talks about never let them take your joy away from you. If, they, if, they, if, you, if you relinquish what makes you happy, to whatever the circumstances are around you, you have given up a significant part of your humanity. And so, um, uh, I, I had a, a person who once said, Lyle, what makes you angry? We never see you angry. You're not angry. I said, well, I'm, I mean, if, if I thought being mad would get the job done, I'd be mad. <laughs> it's not, it, doesn't, it doesn't get you anywhere. And so, the, 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 the issue is to communicate. The issue, and part of your 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 materials is how do speakers get their way, and and it's and it's not by frightening people. I mean, owing it awful will get people to do a, something for a moment, but it's not sustainable. Uh, there has to be some um, 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 uh, concrete opportunity for people to have an activity that they feel moves toward the resolution or adding value to whatever it is that they're doing. I mean, that's what keeps me coming back. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's the old starfish, you know, um, um, uh, scenario. Well, it made a difference to that one. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of dead starfish, but <laughs> the few of them got back to the water. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you, 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 you can make a difference. Well, Emma, Gold what was maybe Emma Goldman who said, I'm not going to join your revolution unless I can join it? That's right. Um, um, uh, uh, and 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 I never understood Emma Goldman as well as uh, until I saw the 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 the, the musical Ragtime, mm -hmm. <laughs> and 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 it was a musical, and and Emma Goldman was had a cameo feature in 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 Ragtime. Am I am I? And, and so I've I've been yes, Emma Goldman uh, uh, is, is 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 correct. We they they. This is the if 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 you if <laughs> now I'm getting my own personal philosophy here, but <laughs> but <laughs> but you know through the through the luck of the genetic lottery, and it's just luck uh, that if you've been born in North America and you live and die, and you can't find something to be happy about. The rest of the world does not care, nor should they care, <laughs> because you've been handed a pretty good hand. And uh, 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 even though um, uh, our circumstances are difficult, 
um, um, uh, class issues, race issues, gender issues, ecological issues are extremely serious. Um, 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 we've been given a pretty good platform from which to launch uh, change, uh, positive, at least my term would be positive, uh, a, a change in with re with relationship to those issues. So I mean, th there's this is not um, uh, a death march. It is um, uh, a, a celebration, and there are things to to to, to talk about, and there and there progress to to be made, and there are victories to 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 be had. Nikki Giovanni, um, um, the wonderful poet, um, um, uh, she. <laughs> She had in one of her poems. She said, "I smell blood cooking," and and I said, "Well, yeah, that's pretty serious." But she said it in such a way <laughs> that we understood the seriousness of it. But it was not a a, a downer. And she also said that we must um, uh, uh, enjoy the victories because we've endured the pain. And uh, it, it you know a lot of this is very celebratory. A um, lot of this is that we can make a difference. A lot of this is that you know, uh, 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 not only is the storm coming, but uh, change is coming. Um, you know, I'm a, uh, um, a, a a big fan of 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 of, of, uh, of uh, Leonard Cohen and, and um, uh, Tom Waits and, and and Bob Dylan and all <laughs> those folks. Um, uh, and I mean, they talk about uh, hope and opportunity in, in a lot of what they talk about. Yes, it, you know, it, you know um, uh, I, I was once asked, and I don't know if this, this, this um, uh, uh, correlates to what, what you're doing, but I'm just talking here. A um, um, person called and said, Blair, will you come and speak this uh, group? I said, yes. And he said, you said that very quickly. I said, yes. And he said, why? I said, you know, the the window of opportunity when uh, people will ask you about what you think is much <laughs> narrower than you might imagine. <laughs> there will come a time when no one will call you to ask you about anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you say, well, I got something to say. Well, you better get, uh, get suit up, show up, and, 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 and speak. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you, um, you I believe that um, uh, all of these messages that we receive, uh, and some of them are in the formal speaking uh, presentation, uh, all have the opportunity to um, create a, a, a positive direction for, um, for uh, managing change. It, it, um, um, if you have um, difficulty in uh, making public presentations. Embrace the difficulty. Uh, move toward the difficulty. Um, uh, it, it <laughs> for 60 years I've been nervous about talking. Uh, I don't expect it's going to change. And I'm always going to be nervous. But I embrace it and I accept it. And um, in the in the in the TED talk that I that I did, you can't have any notes um, uh, making these presentations. And um, my wife said, and this, and this was uh, uh, earlier this year. My wife said, "Why are you now just getting all wound up and you know over this TED talk? You don't have to do this." I said, "You're right. I know I don't have to do it." That's all the more reason that I'm going to do it because I want to embrace this issue, embrace the opportunity mm -hmm. to, 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 to make a statement. So what I would say to them is um, uh, uh, don't try to get over being nervous about it. Understand that nervousness is, 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 is part of um, who you are and how you approach the situation. And um, embrace it, um, prepare. Uh, preparation um, deals can 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 deal with a lot of the, the nervousness that you have. And but if you are almost immobilized by your nervousness, that the preparation, I, I you, you still have to jump into the deep end.